Look what I got. Look at this. <laughs> Another oven roaster or roasting oven. So after I bought the Walmart one for 24 bucks, I'm like, yeah, 24 bucks. And then I realized the inside doesn't come out to clean it. So you have to put, pick it up and wash it. And I didn't show you guys that, which I should have, but I didn't. And then the cord, you don't want to get the electrical cord wet, especially since it's still plugged in. No, I'm just kidding. It's not plugged in. But uh, then I saw, uh, I saw the Hamilton Beach in uh, Oster or Oster or whatever that company is. They have one like this too. So either you can go with them or you can go with Hamilton Beach. But they have an inside that comes out. I went with the Hamilton Beach one, one, because it came in red. And two, because it was 28 pound turkey size. <laughs> it's 22 quarts. 22 quarts. Is that great? All right. So I'm going to show you how to clean this one too. So first we're going to do, hmm, pulled pork. That's what I'm going to do. So let me go grab a pulled pork out of the fridge and we'll start seasoning that right now. We'll let that marinate and then we're going to roast it up. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so we got the fat side. Not a lot of fat on this. Fat side there. There's the meaty side. So we're going to take the fat side first and we're going to score the fat side. Then you're going to kind of quarter turn it, score it this way. So we're going to start off with the best gourmet seasoning you'll ever taste. It leans heavy with the garlic. I love this stuff because it's mine. No, because I love this stuff. It tastes good. I wouldn't make something that I didn't like. So we're going to coat that. All right, we're going to do a little ground uh, cayenne pepper. Going to do some smoked paprika. A little bit of salt. Rub that in. Do, 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 do. A little black pepper. Get that all rubbed in. Then we're going to move the bowl over. Pull the meat out. Give it a flip. Let it sit right on all that seasoning. Takes any extra seasoning you got in the bowl. Just drop it in there. Then do it all over again. As you can see, I'm seasoning around the meat too. Because when I push the foil up on it, I want the sides to get seasoned also. Boom. Put that up on there. That up on there. That up on there. All right, so there it is. We're going to let this set overnight and let those seasonings get in there. And then I'm going to meet you right back here tomorrow with the Hamilton Beach Oven Roaster. Look at that. That's the insert. Whoops. That's the insert right there. That's what I bought this for so that this thing can come out and get washed. There it is. Look how big that is. It's super light. There it is. That's the rack. It's going to go in here. Once the liner's in here, there's the simple control. It goes all the way up to 450 degrees. It starts when you plug it in. It doesn't get any easier than that. All right, everything's cleaned out, dried off. Now, I'm gonna use a nonstick spray only because I'm not gonna use my drippings. If you're gonna use drippings, I'm using a canola oil spray, but if you're gonna keep the drippings, just coat everything with butter or something. Don't, don't use a nonstick spray. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Beautiful. That look gorgeous. I'm going to place this right in the center. I want it to be, it's 38 degrees, I want it to be 190. That's it. I can't begin to tell you how amazing this smells. Not just in the kitchen, but throughout the whole house. I'm dying of starvation here. I got to see what this thing looks like. Now remember, this might be hot. I haven't tried the handle. Let's see. Yeah, it's warm. So use an oven mitt and voila. Wow, it's beautiful. Okay, so I thought maybe I burned the top here, but that's the seasoning. See, look, that's the seasoning I put on there. So I put it kind of heavy, but when you remove it, the meat's just fine. So be careful on seasoning the top part of it. So this thing just pops right out. Look how little juice came off that. 
or fat or grease or whatever. Not a lot, really. I would have expected more. I'm just going to rinse it. Just give it with some hot water. Run my hand around the bottom. Take off any bits that I, that I don't want. And then let's see what's left. Okay, so that's what it looks like right now. I'm gonna give it a quick wipe through. I'm gonna let you watch real quick. I always put a little warm water in the bottom, not a lot. And then get a scrubby, my, my Dobie or my, what is it, my scrub daddy? Put a little soap on his face. So I got scrub daddy there, right in here. So let's rinse it and see what it looks like. So uh, it cleans well, it comes out well. It was worth the extra $6 to go with Hamilton Beach. Let's go check on our meat now. It might get like this. Now, let's take a look at the, take a look at this bone here. Oh, there it is, yeah. Look, look how nice that comes out. The meat just pulls right away. Oh, hot, isn't that beautiful? I love when the bone comes right out. All right, so now we're gonna just cut right into this with a fork. Me personally, I don't pull all the, all the pork because I don't want to dry out, even though we let it set for like a half hour. All right, so I got some pulled pork there. Now, let me go get the roll and the aioli. Okay, so let's grab some, some meat, put on these bottoms. Take a little bit of this, drop it on. There you go. There's pulled pork sliders with roasted garlic aioli. Boy, is my family gonna be happy tonight. They don't even know this is for dinner. All right, so let's give it a try. Oop, it's dripping. It's dripping, here we go. These are the Hawaiian rolls too, soft and sweet. Mmm. 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 So good. I never would have thought about it until I was filming that garlic aioli would go on pulled pork. You gotta try different flavors, guys. You gotta get into it, okay? So, uh, Hamilton Beach, that cooker, get that one over the Walmart one that I showed for $24, because this one, it comes out of the center. Easy to clean, there you go. Love you guys, see you on the next episode, bye-bye.